If we can calculate the solubility product for a sparingly soluble salt, can we run the other way? Can we calculate the solubility of that salt given its solubility product? In this video, I'm going to run through a very quick exam question to give you the method for this. It's the solubility we would like of iron 2 hydroxide. We're given the solubility product, so that's 6 times 10 to the minus 15. Where do we start? Always with the balanced equation, because this is going to give us the ratios of solubilities that we're going to need. At equilibrium, so our equilibrium concentration in mole per decimeter cubed is what we're trying to find out. Let's call it x. Because the iron to hydroxide is a 1 to 2 ratio, if I have x number of moles of iron 2 at equilibrium, I'm going to have 2x number of moles of hydroxide ions. Writing the solubility product expression for this, it's Fe2 plus aqueous square brackets for concentration hydroxide ion squared, raising it to the power of 2 because we've got 2 moles of hydroxide ions in my stoichiometric equation, which means that we have a KSP is equal to x times 2x squared. So 2x is the concentration, raising it to the power of 2 as per our expression for KSP. So let's put our numbers into that. We know what solubility product is. 6.0 times 10 to the minus 15 is equal to x times 2x squared. x times 2x squared is, can do a bracket that way, I can, is 4x cubed which means when I rearrange, x is equal to 0 0.0 times 10 to the minus 15 divided by 4 square root of the 3. I'm sure that's got an official way of saying it, but I have no idea what that is. And when you plug that into your calculator, the answer comes out at 1.14 times 10 to the minus 5 mole per decimeter cubed. So that is solubility of iron 2 hydroxide. Going back to our number crunching in the last step, um, it's really important that you figure out how to do these sorts of calculations with your calculator, the one that you're going to be using in exams. So go away, play with the buttons, practice and make sure that's secure in your knowledge base. If this has been useful, hit the subscribe button, the effortless way to support your studies. And by clicking the link in the blurb below, it will take you straight to the Crunch Chemistry School, where you'll find all the resources you need to get that A-star grade at A-level. Together, we can do this.